Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hey. Hello. Hey, sons. Time to show the poem to somebody. Like Monica. Monica. The only choice. Hi again, friend Aaron. How's the writing going? <laughs> All right, I guess. I'll take that. You'll you'll take that what? Take that as a yes, or you take the poem out of my hand? Sorry. As long as it's not going bad, I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe you'll come up with a masterpiece. Aha! Uh -huh, I wouldn't count on that. You never know. I want to share what you wrote for today. Sure, here you go. I need to practice my human emotions. Do I look convincingly sad? It's a happy poem. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I give my poem to Monica. All right. Great job, friend Aaron. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. I was using my human brain to process the emotions. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easy for me to keep everyone's expectations low. <laughs> that way it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> Do you enjoy my new <laughs> Do you enjoy my new laugh program? Do you think it is convincing to fool the humans? <laughs> it's the like the predator laugh from the end of uh Predator. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it explodes. That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know what? Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Uh, unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness, Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively, allowing people both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all these nuances. Oh my god. <sighs> <laughs> anyway, Monica, thanks for reading my poem. Yeah. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I'm running Boredom Protocol 7. <laughs> <laughs> you appear to be bored. You appear to be bored. You appear to be bored. <laughs> abort, abort conversation. <laughs> I've never really asked, though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Meanwhile, I will be sucking the brain juices out of you while you sleep. I mean, running the literature club. <laughs> Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Alright, let's take a look. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue, and endless cacophony <laughs> of meaningless noise the noise it won't stop violent grating waveforms squeaking screeching piercing sine cosine tangent what a what kind of cue is that it's like the the fem, the symbol for female <laughs> it's like an onk <laughs> like playing a chalkboard on a turntable like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust an endless poem of meaningless load me whoa <laughs> What? Ooh, I think she's actually a robot, dude. <laughs> that would be fucking awesome. Oh my god, could you imagine? <laughs> hmm, does it look like a robot wrote it? <laughs> it's even more abstract than your last one, huh? Hot, 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 hot. I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just kind of a thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. Something I've read once. Load me. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short makes shutting down. Load me is what uh, Robot Aslan yells. <laughs> Load me! <laughs> you got it, Aslan. <laughs> oh, God. Restoring talking protocol. <laughs> <laughs> rebooting makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. Still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. Ha 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 ha. A human might not understand. Sometimes asking what a poem about isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> some, 
Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when you might change your mind. Or when something unexpected may happen. Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? Ah ha 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 ha. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Hmm. Wow. Guess I should save the game. Is it? Oh. Anyway. Interesting. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading with each other's poems here, yeah, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Sweet. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. The festival of brain sucking. <laughs> I mean cherry blossoms. It will require a sacrifice. <laughs> I mean volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. Well, let's just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. All right, well, you guys are a bunch of fucking pessimists. Don't worry so much. We are going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. <laughs> Sayori has been working on posters, and I have designed some pamphlets. We can give out during the event. I've worked down the details to a factor of one million and ten. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't really tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, uh, sorry. I thought you had heard about it already. We are going to be performing. Performing? Conolingus? <laughs> per uh, Monica. Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Sayori's putting all... I, Sayori's shutting down. <laughs> <laughs> Rebooting. <laughs> you just talk to her too long and her ability to speak just starts to like decay slowly. Sayori's putting it all on the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> Sayori, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Wow, what a beautiful invisible poster! I love it. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't, you didn't already start putting these posters up, did you? Yeah, well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. It's, it's a, a hard idea! <laughs> 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 but I didn't sign up for this, you know? There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that! I agree with Natsuki. I could never, in my life, do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys... No, Sayori. You guys are fucking doing it. <laughs> I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It is a lot to ask uh, for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that, so... <laughs> I'm sorry. Lo loading emotion. <laughs> <laughs> but I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance... Powering down. Then it will inspire <laughs> others to overheating. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Core temperature nominal. <laughs> Do the same. <laughs> and the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah! It's about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun! That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Aside from the fact that your brains are soft, gooey, and delicious. <laughs> Don't you want to share that with others? <laughs> to inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place. I know you do. I know we all do. And if it all take, <laughs> And if all of it takes... <laughs> Shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> and if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Uh. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Siri looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I'm gonna have to dig them out of this <laughs> knee-deep pool of potatoes we're all standing in. <laughs> Guys, watch out! The potatoes are <laughs> they're filling the room slowly! <laughs> I don't know how it happened, but my knapsack just keeps producing potatoes! <laughs> 
<laughs> Have you not noticed? It's a real house of leaves situation. Oh god! More potatoes than could possibly have fit in the knapsack. <laughs> <laughs> My chest can no longer expand due to the pressure and weight of all these potatoes. <laughs> I mean, I agree. <laughs> I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying, trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a bit. Well, maybe, but <sighs> looks like Nasuki doesn't have any arguments left. Ew! That's a good argument. Okay. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. All right. <laughs> Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Uh. Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. Sigh. I guess I don't really have a choice. Ha ha ha! That's everyone. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Wait, things have really heightened in the three days of literature club. Yeah. Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. What? I want each of you to open your skulls. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to practice reciting our poems in front of each other. N -n -n no way! Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Strangers? <laughs> oh no. Don't worry, I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go <laughs> next? I will suck out your amygdala. <laughs> <laughs> Can I go next? Ah ha 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 ha, of course. Now let's see. Monica flips through. Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. And next time on Game Grumps, she then stands behind the podium. We'll see what happens. Oh shit. Oh my god. What's gonna happen behind that podium? <laughs> I, I, my feelings are most closely, uh, Natsuki's right now. Just the... Uh, <laughs> I'm worried. My god, these almonds are good. Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck yeah.